time is a procrastinator's frenemy. And if you don't learn anything out of this, I want you to learn that it is your frenemy. It is your friend because you believe that you always have time. You always have more time. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I'll do that next week. Oh, wait, give me an hour and I'll be able to accomplish that. When in the fact is the time is moving, it's your enemy because it's moving. It's changing. Every second time is changing. And every second you're wasting that time and you're not going to get that back. Your time is moving, but you're not. You're still in the position of having to take care of it or having to do something. What we put off today to do tomorrow just means tomorrow will come and we'll say, oh, well, you know, it's not due yet. So let me put this now off again today for tomorrow. You now are going to sleep, but in the back of your mind, you're thinking about all the tasks and all the items that you've already put off for tomorrow. Now your tomorrow is packed. Your tomorrow is going to be stressful because some of it could have been done today if you would have stayed on focus. So what are some of the things we put off? We put off homework. We put off going to the gym. We put off um, doing our laundry. We put off calling that friend that we said we were going to call on the phone. We put off um, apologizing to somebody. We put off going to be with our friends to pray for someone. So we just tend to be in a position where if we have more in a day full of time that we just push it on. Now, people tend to think procrastinators are lazy. That is not accurate. Um, Being a procrastinator doesn't mean you're lazy because the most of your people that are procrastinators accomplish a lot of nothingness. They're always doing something. It's just nothing that's fruitful and nothing that's going to be beneficial towards whatever goal or whatever event that they're trying to do. We just continue to put off and put off and put off where if you're lazy, you just don't do it and you just don't justify why you have to do it. Procrastinators tend to put it off, but they're justifying why they're putting it off because it's something that they can do later. Sometimes putting off a task is good. I mean, sometimes, you know, you have to put it off because it's not an emergency. And yes, I put my own pressure on myself to say that I was going to do it by example, five o'clock today, but now it's 445. And in order for me to accomplish this by five o'clock, I would literally have to speed home in order to accomplish my task. So sometimes putting it into another moment is okay. But in many cases, it leads to increased feelings of panic or increased feelings of anxiety or self-doubt. Plus, it teaches you not to trust yourself. And, And I know you're saying, what? How am I not trusting myself? Because it's a self-defeating behavior. People that deal with um, perfectionism, um, they tend to be procrastinators because they want to be protected against the fear of failure or against judgment, judgment of others, judgment by others, self-condemnation. I can talk, I'm sorry. Um, And they tend to be where... They self-defeat their own selves. We all have that tendency. Those things that we think we have conquered, we will tend to procrastinate about. If I know I have to meet someone to tell them about um, purchasing a home, being that I am a licensed real estate broker, I know how to do that. I don't have to kind of prepare for it. So would I get there at the very last moment? Yes, because I don't kind of have to prepare. We're better 
would be to be prepared. I'm a person that believes you always arrive early. Don't be the last one to arrive. So I'm always ahead of myself. I'm always ahead of where I need to be. But I do that simply because I need to be prepared when that person shows up. Does that put an extra stress on myself? It does, but it also stops me from being a procrastinator, from waiting until the last moment to do what it is I need to do. 